Now, you may know him as the ABC reality show Shark Tank or as the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, or you just may know him as Mark Cuban. Before becoming a billionaire and an NBA team owner, Mark was an eager entrepreneur looking at how to grow his business when he met Ray and discovered Lotus Notes. I can't say enough great things about Ray Ozzy. We're, we've done some work together. Um, we're on a committee together. We spent some time together. What an amazing human. What an incredible person who cares, not just about technology for technology's sake, but how it can help people and how it can make the, the world a better place. But that, that's, everybody knows that about Ray. I got to tell you my little Ray Ozzy story. So way back in the day, 30 years ago plus, um, I had a little systems integrator. And to me, the greatest find that would grow my little systems integrator micro solution was finding Lotus Notes. And bam, I reached out to, to um, Ray's company and they allowed us to become a reseller. And when that happened, literally, our company just took off. They allowed me to sell it, they allowed me to promote it, and then it got bought by Lotus and worked with them. Um, but it just changed, changed the, the path of my company. And so bottom line, if it weren't for Ray Ozzy, I wouldn't be on Shark Tank. I wouldn't own the Dallas Mavericks. I'd probably be a bartender somewhere if it weren't for Ray Ozzy. So congratulations, Ray Ozzy. Every accolade you've ever gotten, you've earned. You're a good guy. Take care. All right. There you have it. I mean, Ray Ozzy saved Mark Cuban from becoming a bartender. Now, what more could you say? That's great. But really, thank you, Mark, for sharing your tribute to Ray with us here tonight.